Good day to you, my friends. This is Dr. Glenn, your WordPress security fanatic. It occurred to me that I uh, recently made a video for somebody who received that this is a critical error message on the WordPress and how to deal with that. Uh, so first thing I did was I told uh, my prospective customer, uh, maybe you can fix this yourself. Go over here and take a look. And then when I went and checked around, I saw that there are a lot of YouTube videos out there uh, that kind of address this or touch on this subject, but they miss a really important uh, point of it. So uh, oddly enough, I have finally uh, run into something where I'm experiencing that on our test site, which is fantastic for me because I can show you how to address that issue. So let me share my screen so you can see what I see. And lo and behold, here we are. We're on the broadsidejournal.com test site, and uh, it says there's a critical error on this. Now, oh, no, what are we going to do about that? Well, let's walk through it. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to our control panel. All right, and uh, this is the control panel for my hosting company, which uh, we run cPanel. And if you have a different control panel software, um, yeah adjust as needed. So I'm going to go into the public HTML directory and we're going to check the WP content area. That is where the plugins directory is. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rename the plugin directory, which will essentially deactivate all the plugins that are running. And usually it's a plugin issue that causes that to crash. So we'll go ahead and we'll just rename that. Put a little dash on it. And then I like to just make a new plugins folder as a placeholder. Okay. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and go back here and see if we can reload this. And oh, it doesn't work because I have a security measure in place. Just give me one second to log into that. And uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay. All right. So we got past that. Um, and let's just kind of zip right back in there. All right, so it let me log right in. I just had a little uh, HT access code to prevent. I mean, my my websites I have to keep a little better security on because people are always trying to say they hacked Dr. Glenn, right? So, all right, here we go. It let us log back in. So this is the step that a lot of uh, the the sites tell you don't tell you. So what you did uh, was you went into the WP content area and we renamed that plugins, right? And then. Um, here we are in the dashboard. So what you want to do is uh, you want to click on the plugins here, and then you should get some messages that say some plugins uh, aren't working. If you did it right, you're going to see things like this. This plugin doesn't exist. This plugin doesn't exist. Okay. So uh, that what that does is it reloads the active plugins um, table in the database so that it uh, WordPress doesn't believe that those are active plugins that are running in your site, okay? So then what you're going to do is you're going to go right back in here. Uh, we'll just delete that fake folder that we made. We'll rename this one back to the plugins, all right? And there it is. And then we'll go back in here and we'll reload the plugins directory again. And now we can see the plugins and we can see that they all need some updates run. So uh, at this point, Usually, I will just go ahead and uh, update these. So let's do that real quick. Now, because this is my um, test area, the speed here is going to be really slow because I have it. Um, it's not going to be as fast as my other hosting accounts. I have it kind of throttled just in case anybody ever did get in. OK, so that's done. And uh, we will go back here and see if the website will load at this time. And there it is. So the, the important bit of this is um, that once, I mean, the important bit for this particular video is that once you rename the directory, once you rename it, 
um, you come back and reload the plugin so that you get those errors that say it's plugins have been removed. That that's important because what will happen here is that you you go in, you rename the plugins directory, and then you you go and re you rename it back, and it still shows everything as an active plugin, and your site crashes again. So that's that's how you get out of it. And uh, I, every time I do one of these videos, uh, I oftentimes get other security professionals that say, why would you do that? Why would you show people how to fix their stuff? And they're like, um, I didn't, I don't know how to answer that other than, uh, look, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where it's more about helping people than it is about getting as much money as I can get in my life. I have, uh, I'm doing okay. So, Take this advice and enjoy it. Use it if, if it helps you get out of a jam. And if you are hacked and you need any help, uh, please reach out to Dr. Glenn at fixmyhackedwebsite.com or my Fiverr gigs, and I'm here to help. Thank you all. Have a great day.